Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something you want us to react to, let us know by dropping a link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. We, you can check out our second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 we post weekly content you guys can hit the subscribe and enjoy the content that we're putting out we've got a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse you can find us on itunes spotify podbean um this channel or the second youtube channel for the visual we also have a patreon account which you can find the link somewhere in the description box and yeah i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed so, to so today i'm going to be reacting to why i chose islam ababaka islam so without wasting time let's get into the video Mm. All right. To be honest with you, like I said before, I was a Muslim. I used to think a lot. I used to think a lot. You understand? And to the degree, like I said, I used to it used to make me get depressed because my mind used to go into overload. I used to start thinking about everything because I've been through a lot. Now, when I started looking into religion, I started looking at society and looking at everything that I see, and I say to myself, everything has a purpose. Everything, no matter what you, you look at, it's got a purpose. This microphone, this monitor, mobile phone, the bathroom, the camera, my jacket, my shirt, my trainers, everything has got a purpose. Then how all of a sudden, me as an individual, I don't have no purpose. I start asking myself, you know what? I know no matter what, I'm gonna die. No matter what, it doesn't matter where I hide, I can go live in the desert, I can go and live in lofty mountains. I know no matter where I go, I'm going to die. So I start asking myself, wait, did I, am I created for no reason? What's the point of me being on this earth and then just living and then, you know, having a family, buying a house, having some luxuries, bam, I'm gone. Don't make no sense. So I started thinking more, thinking more, I'm saying to myself, wait, I know I didn't create myself. I'm, I'm not coming from that kind of angle. I've never been like, oh, I'm atheist, I don't believe in anything. That's never been my angle. But I just didn't understand who God was or how to worship God. That was my thing. So the more I started thinking about that, I said to myself, you know what? I know I'm going to die. So what's my purpose in life? It's my purpose in life is just to be here, maybe have, a, have girlfriends, have women, have kids, have jewelry, have, uh, 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 what do you call it? I don't know, luxury things, and then I'm just gonna die. I said, this don't make no sense. They don't make no sense because then God created me for a silly reason. So I started thinking, what's my purpose of life? And that's when you start looking at things like, you know, the prophets. I start reading about the prophets. I start reading about the prophet Moses and whatnot. And I noticed one thing when I started looking into all the prophets, they all call to the same thing. They all call to worshiping one God. You will never find evidence from any prophet or messenger where they call to other than that. And if you look at the religion of Islam, what does it emphasize on? It emphasizes on Tawheed, worshiping one God, directing your worship to one God, not associating partners with God. And one of the things when I looked into Islam, I asked the people who were Muslim, I was saying, wait, but you don't worship Muhammad though. Like you do everything he does, like what's all that about? Do you understand? And when they started breaking it down to me, they said, listen, we don't worship Muhammad. We don't pray to Muhammad. Do you understand? But we follow his example. And they started breaking it down and showing me about other prophets and other messengers. And it made sense to me because, look, if God put an angel on the earth, it would be hard for us to follow the angel. Why? Because the angel is superior. It's not like us. So God sending people amongst us who are like us to follow his example is easier for us to follow. It's easier for us to famine. It's, free, it's easier for us to get down with because it makes sense. If you've got a superhuman being, you look at this human being, you'll be like, I can't, I 
this is too much. Do you understand? This is above my head. But if you look at the examples of the prophets and messengers, they married like us. Do you understand? They worked like us. They lived like us. And they died like us. Do you understand? It's all the same. And it made sense to me. So the more I started looking into this, and the more I started looking into Islam, I said, you know what? This is the only religion I can see what has no contradictions. I ask so many people, show me contradictions in the Quran. It don't exist. It don't exist. Show me where in the Quran it tells me to worship other than God. It don't exist. So when I started looking on the emphasis of my Tawheed, it made sense to me, directing my worship to one God. Because when, when, when I was looking into Christianity, all this God is free and stuff like that, I couldn't, I couldn't get it around my head. It was too much for me. And the next thing, and next thing I'm being honest with you, I'm just going to be open with you. When they said to me, Jesus is God, and obviously what, I've grown up knowing that Jesus is a white man. So for me, I, could, I couldn't fathom that. I'm like, why would, so what? Why is God white? Now, I'm being honest with you. I used to ask myself this. Why is God white? This don't make no sense. This is not fair. Why is my creator white? Like, so what? Is white better than me? Do you understand? And when I start looking into Islam and look at examples of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he said in his final sermon, there's no difference between a black man and a white man. The only difference between us is through our deeds. I said, this makes sense to me. This makes sense to me. I grow up going to a church. I'm in a church. I see a white man on the wall. I'm like, this is too much. I can't, I can't get down with this. Like, I'm being honest with you. I can't get down with this. This is, this is not fair. This is not fair. Why is my creator white? Just like nation of Islam. Why is their creator black? It don't make sense. So it makes, okay, if God is black, so what about, what, what about white, white people and every other race? How are they going to feel? Do you understand? So it's the same thing. So when I started looking into Tawheed and looking at the values and the teachings of Islam, I said, you know what? This makes sense to me. And it was easy for me to accept Islam after that. So that was the main reason for me um, taking Islam as my religion. Yes, Hassan. Very interesting. There is no difference between a black and a white man except his deeds. Another thing this guy said is, how would people that consider themselves white feel if God was be God or Jesus was black. That's my question to you guys. How would you feel if they said Jesus was black or um, God was black? Depends on how you follow these things. How would you feel about that? That's something that has I have never thought of actually, and it's good he brought it up. Otherwise, this was a great um, video. I always love listening to these stories because everyone has a different story to tell and yet they all land on the same thing finding one god finding the truth and just finding something that speak to speaks to them and gives them peace in life otherwise if you guys have contributions feel free to let us know in the comment section below always glad to read your feedback make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video